Greetings, it's Kimberly Sherry, International Energy Healer, helping you lead a life of wealth without worry. Well, we are saying goodbye to 2018 and welcome 2019. You can tell time has speeded up by, at least I can, by how fast Friday is already here again. And you can see how quickly the year has gone. And this year is not going to get any slower. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, Heather and Bess. Um, thanks for joining, everyone. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited about this coming new year. I've got some plans and uh, stepping into some big things. <clears throat> and I wanted to come on today and give you guys uh, some helpful advice and some insight into the coming new economy. So uh, I've had people wonder, you know, what's the best thing to put stocks in and, or money in stocks or invest in and, you know, what are the winning lottery numbers? And I'm not here to tell you any of those kinds of things. But what I am here to tell you about is uh, energy and how you can uh, master this next year by managing and mastering your energy. This is part of the new emerging economy, which is what I want to talk about today. So some helpful advice and helpful tips. Uh, number one, <clears throat> uh, I don't know what that says. Um, so number one is uh, the first thing that you need to do is to get into this current year, be present. If you're, uh, you know, I think it's good to reflect and review on the past year and see how far you've come. But if you're still looking backwards and beating yourself up about all the things you should have done or could have done or things somebody did to you or things you wish they had done to you or for you and um, living in all those regrets, those were all contracted, lower vibrating energies and that's not gonna help you move into the new year in an expanded energy. So one thing that should be noted is that um, we are still in the inward energy of winter. So a lot of people kind of wanna just blast off into the new year, but we're still in that, that phase where, um, you know, like even in, in the uh, farms that the crops are growing and the seeds that we planted back in the fall are germinating and so we need to continue to cultivate nurture feed all that so that that can really blossom in the spring this is also uh, a year of a brand new cycle so we just finished a seven year cycle so all the crap that's been going on if you think wow it's been really intense uh, now we have a chance to start fresh to start new and hopefully you're going to be doing that with some with some uh, new focus, some new discipline, and uh, really moving forward into the new year. So a uh, couple things too. Um, I don't know about you, I, I pick a word for the year, and uh, this year my, my word for the year is um, humility. <laughs> um, and now that I know I can measure the ego, uh, wanna keep that at, um, you know, at zero. And I think it's it's really important, at least for me, because I know that this year I am planning on uh, having a bigger amp impact on the planet and uh, getting out there more. I am finishing my book. In fact, I'm uh, working on trying to finish it this month and so um, and want to reward myself by going to New Zealand. <laughs> so that's uh, in the works. And um, this book has been long in the making. And for those of you who've been paying attention, you may have noticed um, the scale, the Hawkins scale that I've elaborated on, that um, that's something that's gonna be um, expanded upon uh, in the book. So now we have access to infinite possibilities that can be measured. So you can know exactly where you are on the whole energetic spectrum so you have a much uh, accelerated way of really getting to where you desire. So I am super excited about the book and I'm gonna be 
coming out in a bigger way. So that's my, my word for the year is humility, to be humble, because I know that um, I'm going to be having a lot more exposure, which uh, for an ex-Jehovah's Witness, for a lot, I'm starting to get a growing number of ex-Jehovah's Witnesses following, that um, you know that coming out <laughs> and, and being public and being seen is uh, a very big challenge for an ex-Jehovah's Witness. So that's my next level of stuff. Uh, so being present and getting grounded and um, a couple other on, on a more practical uh, note. So, so getting grounded, uh, let, me, let me just back up a second. A lot of people are thinking, uh, think that you're grounded. And, but then when I check, you, you don't, you're not even connected to the earth. You, don't, you have no earth energy coming up through your legs. So uh, one of the other things that I'm um, doing this year is I am going to be uh, reactivating my YouTube. So I haven't really been there in about two years. I've maybe posted a couple things. And uh, in my absence, you know, I think when I, when I stopped posting, because I've been doing these live things, what is this, episode 84 in a row, um, that I, I stopped doing uh, the, the YouTube videos. So now I am planning on uploading all of these to YouTube, and I really want to start uh, doing some up-to-date videos. A lot of the stuff that I have on, on YouTube is outdated because we've expanded and grown that much more that now you need more up-to-date um, up information. So um, I'm excited about doing that this year. So a lot more exposure for me. Um, so getting grounded, I will be, uh, helping you, you know, with some new videos and some ex more expanded ways of, of being really grounded. On a more practical note, um, part of this new economy, uh, is going to require that you have multiple streams of income. Really important. I don't know if you've been paying attention, <laughs> if you haven't been paying attention, um, you know, the, the, since the last downturn of the economy in 2008, 2009, um, years I remember quite clearly because that's when I filed for bankruptcy. My whole uh, retail store imploded and uh, as everything was going crazy then. So we have not had a correction since then. And you all know we're in a huge economic bubble that's just propped up by a lot of hot air. There's nothing really solid backing it up. And so um, we are due for a correction. And I'm not here to tell you when it is. I don't know when it is, but I can feel it. I can feel it that, uh, you know, some big changes are um, going to be happening. So that's not to scare anybody. Um, I'm excited about the changes. I'm excited about the economy crumbling. I'm excited about the government crumbling because it means that a new something is emerging. And so it's up to all of us to start creating what it is that we want for our future. And how do we want to be in that space? So being grounded is uh, going to keep us out of all that fear and anxiety and uh, really being connected to the earth. So I'm going to be talking more about that in future videos. Uh, but so getting multiple streams of income so that you, um, I think I have, I don't know, five, six, seven different streams of income, some little, some more, uh, some a lot. And so, um, but you know, then, then you don't have to worry about losing your job or losing this, or, you know, you, you're, uh, going to have more ways of being able to feed yourself economically. So that's a really important part. And um, another big part of this new economy is uh, relying less on money, learning how to be a magical manifester, manifesting valuable resources, things that you need, but maybe they don't cost money. Maybe there's other ways of getting these things that have nothing um, to do with money. Just as an example, and, and I think this is just a really wise way of um, ex uh, sort of expanding my use of money. So when I was in Bali, I had uh, some people who uh, were living next door. They were retired healers and they suggested, and this is how they travel the world, is um, through a website called trustedhousesitters.com. 
and they go from house to house taking care of people's pets and homes and uh, so they suggested I try that so I did and uh, lo and behold I did put in a couple of applications but someone uh, contacted me and asked if I wanted to uh, do a house sitting job for them and it was three weeks in the heart of Sydney <laughs> so usually you know our um, lodging is the most the biggest part of our expense so here I have had free lodging for um, three weeks on this house sitting job and before that was a smaller house sitting job so almost a month of a very valuable resource in a, in a, a very uh, beautiful place and um, within walking distance it even came with her past to her gym so that's just a few blocks away so you know that that didn't cost me any money and so this is a great way of expanding and extending um, your your money so the more that you expand yourself the more of these kinds of ideas are going to come to you hey Bobby it's not up to you to figure out the how. This is where everybody gets stuck, is I don't know how I'm gonna figure it out. Well, that's because you're trying to figure it out. <laughs> and <clears throat> the question that I want you to replace, that how am I gonna figure it out, which lives right in your root chakra, keeps you unstable, keeps you in fear, is to replace that question with my favorite question, right? You guys all know, how does it get any better than this? And then let the universe show you as you stay in that blissful question of I wonder. I am always amazed and surprised, pleasantly surprised, um, how the universe supports me in the most magical ways. So this is part of the new economy, is relying um, less on the money piece and more, focusing more on valuable resources and um, also being of service. So the, the less we focus on money, because it's really not money. You don't want the paper and ink. That's really not what you want. You want what money can give you, what money can bring. New experiences, being able to travel, being able to help other people. Um, those are the things that you desire. And also that's what you should be focusing on, is how do you want to feel when you are in any of those. How do you want to feel when you are able to help someone financially? Um, like my, sis my sister, <laughs> that was a, a past life, <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> um, we are thinking again, um, I, I'm probably gonna go anyway, uh, to New Zealand in about a month. And for me, it's gonna be my reward for having finished my book, that's my motivation. But um, so to, to be able to help her to come on that trip and to be able to help my son to be able to come to Bali, those were really exciting things. And so being, uh, as you're focusing in this new economy uh, with the things that you desire, not the things you want. In fact, that word should be taken out of your vocabulary, what you want. What you want is what you lack. So don't focus on what you want. Focus on what you desire. I mean, you can just feel that in that word. It, it goes deeper. It feels more uh, heartfelt. It feels more exciting, the things you desire. And, and so focus on the things you desire while staying grounded in this high vibration. Those are the kinds of things you're going to start to manifest. And uh, if you have one of those desires as expanding your uh, resources of income and multiple streams of income, then magical ideas are going to start coming to your head as you're in those higher vibrations. So uh, let's see, this Sunday is a global Q&A, part of a, a monthly membership. So if you haven't joined that yet and you want to be a part of that, if you've never joined, I'll post a link for you to come on for free for a whole month. And so the first Sunday is always a global Q&A. Get on the horn, ask me a question. I'll look at what's going on with you energetically. I'll give you a brief energy clearing. And uh, so l last night I, I kind of did a little emergency session on, on a gal and, and um, just took out a few energy cords from her that uh, were pulling her down. And she felt so much lighter just doing that one little thing for her. 
So if there's one little thing that I can do for you that can help, come on uh, board this Sunday, ask a question, let's get it done. Let's start this new year off in, in a really good way. So uh, that's available this Sunday. And then on the third Sunday, which is the other part of this membership, is uh, the Global Meta Clearing. So you can join us for that. I uh, sometimes don't know what I'm gonna be uh, doing it on until that day. <laughs> But it's always relevant, it's always powerful, and it's always in present time. So the more that you're able to join these things live, the better. But the recordings are also very powerful because it brings you into that present moment when they were um, created. Interesting thing about time. Time is timeless. Time is no space, no time. <laughs> anyway, so uh, welcome to 2019. It's going to be amazing. Why? because I'm planting amazing seeds, and I hope you are too. And I hope you're cultivating those seeds uh, so that you can really reap the benefits of that come this spring when things are really gonna start to kick into gear. So, um, what else? I think that's about it. Uh, so, welcome and to the new year, and we will see you next Friday, which will come like that, like a blink of an eye. So be sure that you are uh, doing your best to stay grounded, running your energy, uh, pulling that worry circle in. Let's see if you guys have a worry circle today. Um, yes, out to that 15th layer. So this is really the best place to go to pull in your worry circle. So I'll do this for you before we leave. Um, that worry circle, as a reminder, is that circle of energy that radiates around your root chakra at the base of your spine. It's the most important part of getting grounded because it holds all of your worry, all of your stress, all of your anxiety, all of your fears, your doubts, that question, how am I gonna figure it out? So all you have to do is just imagine, your free imagination, that you know where the 15th layer of your aura is, so it goes out like that, just go out to that 15th layer where that circle is around your root chakra, pull in that circle. Send all that worry down your grounding cord. So let's just pull all that energy in. Just feel, maybe you feel something. <laughs> maybe you feel some energy releasing, um, letting go, fully letting go of the, the past year. So just a, a, as one last thought and reminder as I'm continuing to pull this energy in for you, uh, when you join that monthly membership, you have access to more than a year's worth of these meta clearings. And so um, the last one, super helpful, was on the winter solstice and, and resetting the energy, clearing out the old year, bringing in this new year. So, uh, if you haven't tried any of these things, do it. This is how I've been able to create my life, which seems pretty darn magical to me. And I'm traveling the world and I'm having a lot of fun. So, um, you know, you probably have different dreams and different desires, but uh, the way to get there is to stay grounded. Stay, there you go. Okay, good. Really grounded. All right, so uh, I'll see you next Friday, and until we meet again, keep asking my favorite question. How do I say any better than this? <laughs> and stay in that blissful question of, I wonder. Much love, friends. See you. <laughs>